he would tell me at least two or three times that he was sober and it would always fail. His addiction was so overwhelming and so powerful. This Sunday, the hit show Autopsy, The Last Hours Of, profiles Eddie Van Halen, who passed away from cancer in October 2020. Alcohol abuse is one of the biggest risk factors in developing head and neck cancers, and it's responsible for approximately one third of the cases worldwide. One person who won't be tuning in is his son, Wolf Van Halen, who tweeted yesterday, F Reels channel, F everyone that works on this show, and F you if you watch it. Effing disgusting, trying to glamorize someone's death from cancer, pathetic and heartless. His mom, Valerie Bertinelli, added to Wolf's tweet, good Christ, this is disgusting. And looking at his medical history, I see that Eddie had been battling with another highly addictive substance, and that's cocaine. Despite Wolf and Valerie's objections, the episode will air as intended this weekend with Reel's channel saying, Autopsy, the last hours of, responsibly explores the circumstances of the passing of well-known and genuinely loved celebrities who the public cares about immensely. The real series generates much feedback from our viewers, ranging from medical professionals who praise its scientific accuracy, fans who tell us it provides closure, or that they have become more proactive for the benefit of their health, and many who gain healthful perspective of health issues that might not otherwise receive attention. When you drink alcohol, your body breaks it down into a chemical called acetaldehyde. Now, acetaldehyde damages your DNA and prevents your body from repairing the damage. In Eddie's case, the episode explains how excessively drinking alcohol can increase one's chance of getting cancer. So when DNA is damaged, a cell can begin to grow out of control and create a cancerous tumor. This is a tough one. I haven't seen Autopsy, but they've done a few seasons of it, so they must do it in a respectful, accurate, appropriate way. I get why a family would be upset that their loved one's passing is being presented as a piece of entertainment, but it is a very informative piece of entertainment. It could be helping save lives. The show's goal is to help viewers, so it has good intentions. I think as long as Autopsy isn't disrespectful, and as Wolf says, glamorizing the death of this famous person and sticks to the facts, then it seems okay with me. But yeah, what do you think of Wolf and Valerie slamming Autopsy.